morning my friends from Alexandria this time and let's see if we can uh, make a video outside here in Alexandria a daytime video it's actually not the morning it's already uh, four o'clock in the afternoon but I skipped breakfast I skipped lunch so I'm ready to have a lot of food I'm ready to discover with you the great city that was founded by Alexander the Great about uh, 2,300 years ago. Yalla! And here you have people selling fruits. And I think we're gonna start the video. We see a lot of fruits. Actually, it's funny. Uh, well, I did not expect that at all. But Egypt is a fruit paradise. The fruits are so good. Basically, it's because they have a lot of sun. Of course, as you expect. But also they have a lot of water, thanks to the Nile River. And that's a perfect combination. Sun and water, perfect for fruits. So it's like a really a fruit paradise. So we're gonna start with the, with the juice. Salam alaikum. <laughs> and actually I'm staying in a neighborhood called Smuha also. So first we're gonna explore, explore Smuha and then we're gonna head by minibus to, uh, to downtown Alexandria because there are much, much less things happening here in, in Smuha than in, uh, in downtown. But first we're gonna explore a little bit this neighborhood called Smuha. So here it's a fruit, uh, like a juice shop, as you can see. We have the mangoes and the oranges. Salam alaikum. Uh, you have juice, right? What do you want? Can I have a strawberry juice? Yeah. Yes, okay. Shukran. What? Just one strawberry juice, yeah. Large or medium? Huh? What size? Medium or large? Uh, medium. One, two, three. It's okay, Shukran. Shukran. <laughs> okay, let's get. Look at this wonderful strawberry juice. Oh my god. And look right in front of me, a very narrow street with some place called, called uh, White Horse. And let's dive into the narrow street and enjoy our strawberry juice. Look at that. Mm. It's so good. Wow. Looks like your car has a problem here. So this street is a little bit like the small uh, market area of uh, Smuha, but it's much busier at night. The figs are so good as well. Really, all the fruits are amazing here. It's really really surprising you see there is some street food okay. making a traffic jam already as soon as you stop it's traffic jam here And here I arrive, that's the Bibliotheca of Alexandria, the way they rebuilt it in a modern way. And here is the Mediterranean Sea, as you see. Look at that. Look at the coastline. All that is Alexandria for kilometers and kilometers. Yes, yeah, so in Smuha, they did not let me film the restaurant, so I did not eat there in the end. Uh, let's find some snack, uh, some like late lunch, because it's around five o'clock already. Okay, as I was not able to have my late lunch in, uh, in Smuha, 
let's look for it here in, uh, in downtown, in the area, in downtown area. So actually I came from Smuha to here in downtown by minibus. Just ask, you just have to ask uh, Mektaba, which means uh, the library, the uh, biblioteca, the new biblioteca of Alexandria, after the first one actually burned a very long time ago. Look at this beautiful American car. Very nice. Wow. Looks like it's a fancy area of uh, Alexandria. So Alexandria is actually a city of cafes, full of cafes. People like to, to relax in cafes around here. It smells like fish. I've seen a fish restaurant in the Google Maps. Let's see if we can find it. Assalamu alaikum. Camera. Yeah. Can film here, eh? Huh? Eh? But here, no, uh, sorry. Not Cannot film? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So sorry, eh? Okay. Okay, so at first I was, I was told uh, I cannot film, and then the guy said, uh, I said I don't eat here if I don't film, and then he told me, okay, I can take the camera. So look at that, wow. Wow, very nice, look at that. Beautiful fish and shrimps. Oh, and calamari, oh wow, I want that. Salam alaikum. Shukran. Uh, huh? Oh, okay, shukran. Very good. And uh, any? Mayo Telatin. Mayo Telatin. And this? Asha. Asha, okay. Take it? City. One head like this? Oh. And one uh, head like this? Oh. Okay. I pay you? This. Okay. Well, I burn this the real price. I think I have. It's the mushroom. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Right, not too much weight. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sit down. I can sit down here? Oh, yeah, okay. So I sit down with the... <laughs> with the guy who, pay, who makes you pay. I just eat it. <laughs> Okay, let's try this. It looks really good. Maybe I'm gonna have more. Oh, this, is this is tahini. Oh, they give me tahini also. Oh, that's really good. Where do, where do I put this? Here? Oh, okay. Look. Shukran, huh? Merci. Wow. Mm. 
they give you chili. Look, they give you the, the, the shellfish with the with the chili. Oh, awesome! Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm so happy. Let's try this. So this is a small fish. A fried micro fish. Fried a very small fish. Very good. I love it. This is so good. Let's get some more. Let's try the bread. Let's try with the bread. Some fish and in the tahini. Mm. 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 Fantastic. Oh. This place is heaven. So it's probably seven dollars for the calamari, but it's, everything is so good here. I need to eat it. Why no? Why no? <laughs> One guy putting incense, incense everywhere. I think the calamari are coming. Okay, let's try the calamari. Look at that. Mm. They're so fresh. So good. Oh, okay, okay. And they give me chili. Fantastic. Huh? No, it's okay, it's okay, it's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. It's, really? Yeah, yeah, really. It's okay. He wanted to give me rice, but uh, I have enough food with that. Good. I think I was too ambitious. <laughs> wow. Okay. And the rice is really good as well. But they have way too much food. <laughs> Breaking the ice. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. And they even give you this. Very nice. I can film there? Okay? Okay. Shogran. Shogran. Hello.
Filming, can I, can I film this? Oh, eh? oh, no. Where are you from? France. Okay. Okay. Look at Okay. Uh, because I speak in uh, English with the camera. Okay, okay Shukran. Shukran. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Shukran. So if you want to have incredible seafood here in... Hi! <laughs> if you want to have incredible seafood here in Alexandria, there is this small... Uh, this narrow alleyway where there is, there is an incredible restaurant. Okay. It's very funny actually because like some people are happy to see you with the camera, some other look at you like what the hell are you filming? But I am filming, that's the way it is, that's all. <sighs> okay, so that was a, a sheep, an unplanned seafood feast basically. <sighs> Okay, and to finish this first video in Alexandria, let's talk a little bit about the history of Alexandria because it has a great history. Here on the Corniche, on the Corniche, on the famous Corniche where everybody comes to, all the Egyptian tourists come to take selfies with the Bay of Alexandria behind me. Yes, yeah, so the history. So Alexandria is not related to ancient Egypt at all. Of course, it was created by Alexander the Great when uh, he conquered uh, Egypt from the Persians, because at that time the Persians were controlling Egypt. And Alexander, hello. And Alexander defeated the Persians and took control over uh, Alexandria and founded Alexandria, actually. At that time, the capital of Egypt was in Memphis and, uh, and Alexander wanted to have uh, Egypt connected to his homeland of Macedonia. So he wanted the capital to be on the seashore. So that's why he founded the capital here in Alexandria and he found a kind of natural harbor. That's why you have the, this beautiful closed bay. Which forms a natural harbor. I think uh, about 10 years later, uh, 10 years after he founded Alex uh, Alexandria, then uh, his empire was divided between his generals. And the general who got uh, Egypt was called Ptolemy. And Ptolemy founded the last dynasty of pharaohs in Egypt. The, dana the dynasty of the Ptolemies had Alexandria as the capital for 300 years until uh, this uh, last uh, Egyptian empire collapsed uh, with uh, Cleopatra when uh, they got conquered, when Egypt got conquered by the Romans. Somehow. So that's the thing, Alexandria was the capital of Egypt for 300 years during the dynasty of the Ptolemies. And you have the Lupins everywhere here. And then to make it easy, uh, Alexandria slowly, slowly lost uh, its importance and almost disappeared. And like uh, 1,800 uh, years after Cleopatra, when Napoleon arrives here, with the French army, uh, he found a very sm a small village of like barely 4,000 people living in the village. And since then, Alexandria slowly regained its importance under the British rule because the French took over to control over Egypt for a very short period of time. Then the British attacked the French and took control over Egypt, and Alexandria regained its importance slowly, slowly. Until nowadays, well, uh, now it's the second biggest city in Egypt after Cairo, and it's quite a, an important city. That's a brief history of Alexandria. I probably forgot some things. Correct me in the comments if you have some things to, some things to add. Okay, let's finish the video by having some, uh, some lupines. Lupines. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead. Uh, no, lemon, 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 basi. lemon, yeah. <laughs> lemon, lemon, sugar, sugar. And here we got our lupins. I love it so much. 
España, no, Francia. ¿Ah? Francia, Francia. Francia. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Friendly people here. What's uh, surprising actually in Egypt also, you see like some street food. Assalamu alaikum. No, I'm not hungry, but what do you cook? Kid. Kid. Kid, ah, okay, okay. Maybe another time. Shukla. No, no, it's okay. I, I'm full. <laughs> it's a pity I, I had too much food, but uh, what he cooks looks very good. Anyway, uh, yeah, what surprised me also in Egypt is actually you have a lot of Christians still. There are millions, there are officially 10% of Christians, but there are heard some people telling me that the figures, uh, the official figures are not right, and maybe there are more than 10%. Okay, oh. ah. it's too high. Ah. Ah. I cheat my shorts. Ah. There's a big area where people like do roller and stuff like that. And uh huh? Okay, so I had a guy asking me whether uh, I was taking video or not. <laughs> so in order not to, to avoid losing all the footage I have, I'm gonna end the video here and head back uh, to my hotel to save <laughs> all the footage. So from uh, the middle of Alexandria in front of the Mediterranean Sea. See you for the next adventure, guys. Ciao.